Imagine a supercomputer that controls every thought, movement, and emotion you have. A machine so powerful that it makes you who you are. That supercomputer is your brain, and today we're diving deep into its most significant part, the cerebrum. Welcome to New Anatomy and Physiology video, where we unravel the mysteries of the mind. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our fascinating explorations. Now let's journey into the incredible world of the cerebrum. The cerebrum is divided into two hemispheres, each a mirror image of the other, but with distinct functions. The right hemisphere, often associated with creativity and spatial ability, is your go-to for interpreting art and music. On the flip side, the left hemisphere is your logic center, excelling in analytical thinking and language. These two halves of your brain work together seamlessly, allowing you to navigate the world with precision and flair. The cerebrum is further divided into four lobes, each responsible for different functions. The frontal lobe, located at the front, it's your command center for voluntary movement, speech production, problem solving, and planning. It's also where your personality resides. The parietal lobe, situated behind the frontal lobe, this area processes sensory information like touch, temperature, and pain. It helps you understand spatial orientation and body awareness. The temporal lobe, found beneath the frontal and parietal lobes, it's crucial for auditory perception, memory, and language comprehension. The hippocampus located here is essential for forming new memories. The occipital lobe, located at the back, this lobe is all about visual processing. It helps you interpret the visual world around you. The cerebral cortex is the outermost layer of the cerebrum, composed of gray matter. This region is responsible for higher brain functions, such as thought, perception, and memory. It's a highly convoluted structure, with folds called gyri, and grooves called sulci, increasing its surface area to accommodate more neurons. Beneath the cerebral cortex lies the white matter, composed of myelinated nerve fibers. These fibers create communication highways, connecting different parts of the brain and allowing information to travel quickly. The white matter ensures that the cerebral hemispheres and other brain regions work in harmony. Deep within the cerebral hemispheres are the basal ganglia, a group of nuclei involved in regulating voluntary motor movements, procedural learning, and routine behaviors or habits. The basal ganglia play a critical role in movement control and coordination. The limbic system, often referred to as the emotional brain, includes structures like the hippocampus, amygdala, and parts of the thalamus. This system is crucial for regulating emotions, forming memories, and processing smells. The hippocampus helps you form new memories, while the amygdala is involved in emotional learning, especially fear-related memories. The primary motor cortex, Located in the precentral gyrus of the frontal lobe is where voluntary movements are initiated. When you decide to pick up a glass of water, the neurons in this area fire, sending signals through the spinal cord to your muscles. The promoter cortex and supplementary motor area assist in planning and coordinating these movements, ensuring smooth and precise actions. The primary somatosensory cortex, located in the postcentral gyrus of the parietal lobe, processes sensory information from the body. When you touch a hot surface, this area quickly interprets the sensation, allowing you to react. Secondary sensory areas further integrate and interpret the sensory information, helping you understand the texture, temperature, and pain. Language and communication are complex processes involving multiple brain regions. Broca's area, located in the frontal lobe, is essential for speech production. Damage to this area can result in Broca's aphasia, where a person struggles to form coherent sentences. Wernicke's area, found in the temporal lobe, is crucial for language comprehension. Damage here leads to Wernicke's aphasia, where speech may remain fluent but lacks meaning. Cognitive functions such as thinking, decision-making, and problem-solving involve multiple brain regions, primarily in the frontal and parietal lobes. The prefrontal cortex, in particular, is the brain's executive center responsible for planning, reasoning, and social behavior. It's what allows you to think ahead, make informed decisions, and interact socially. The hippocampus, located in the temporal lobe, is vital for forming new memories and spatial navigation. When you learn something new, neurons in the hippocampus make connections, encoding the information for later retrieval. The amygdala, also in the limbic system, plays a role in emotional learning, particularly in forming fear-related memories. The primary visual cortex, located in the occipital lobe, processes visual information received from the eyes. It interprets light, color, and movement, helping you make sense of what you see. The primary auditory cortex in the temporal lobe processes auditory information, allowing you to hear and interpret sounds. These regions work together to create a cohesive sensory experience. The cerebrum is a marvel of nature, a complex organ that defines who we are and how we experience the world. Its intricate network of neurons and synapses enables us to think, feel, move, and communicate. Understanding its anatomy and physiology not only fascinates us but also paves the way for advancements in medicine and technology. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the cerebrum, please like, comment, 
and share this video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to join us on more journeys into the wonders of the human brain.